Traditionally, cardiac surgery has been done through long incisions, 20 to 25 centimeters in length. The whole length of the sternal bone is divided. We call it median sternotomy or full sternotomy. And the whole spectrum of cardiac surgery was done through these approaches. In the last decade, we have decided and realized that we don't need such long incisions and we started reducing the length of the incisions to somewhere in the range of 6 to 8 centimeters. We call this a mini sternotomy approach which means a part of the sternum bone is only divided either the upper part or the lower part. We call it the upper or the lower hemi or partial sternotomy approaches. In the last 15 years, the western world has gone to these approaches for all valve replacement procedures and valve repair procedures. The Asian subcontinent has been left behind to a certain extent. 100% uh, of aortic valve replacements in the US are almost done through mini sternotomies and around 80% of the mitral valve work is done through that approach. If you look at what are the advantages of this, between traditional surgery and, my, and mini sternotomy, the incision is much less, the part of the bone is only divided. As a result of it, patient compliance, pain scores, blood transfusion rates, and uh, even uh, overall recovery to getting back to regular work is much faster through mini sternotomy approaches. So are we justified in doing traditional surgery with long incisions? You can do the entire spectrum of cardiac surgery through these mini sternotomies. In India, we, since coronary artery bypass surgery is our bread and butter, we have started using the mini sternotomy approach. We call it mini bypass surgery and we are able to do quadruple bypasses through this mini approach. You can use vein grafts or arterial grafts and you can still do the entire operation on a beating heart which makes it an absolutely totally minimally invasive approach. Small incision, beating heart approach so you don't disturb the body in any format whatsoever. What, is, what else can we do? We have now gone into doing endoscopic approaches. We do 100% of our uh, atrial septal defect closures or ASD closures through endoscopic approaches. We do around 80% of our mitral valve repair or replacement work through endoscopic approaches. And how is it better? In this approach, you do not divide any bone. We only make a small 5 centimeter incision in the right fourth intercostal space and we are able to access the heart through that with long instruments and endoscopic instruments to do most of the surgical procedures. So what are the advantages? Traditional surgery 25 centimeter incision, mini sternotomy 6 centimeters, endoscopic 5 centimeters. Traditionally full bone division, mini sternotomy partial bone division, endoscopic no division of bone. Pain scores 10 out of 10 for traditional, 6 out of 10 for mini and 3 out of 10 for endoscopic approaches. Hospital length of stay 9 days for traditional surgery, 4 days for minimal uh, mini sternotomy, 2 days for endoscopic surgery. Patient uh, recovery or back to work 3 months in traditional surgery, 1 month in mini sternotomy and 2 weeks in endoscopic approach. So are we justified in doing traditional surgery for most of the lot? I think we need to be doing mini sternotomies and endoscopic surgery for a bulk of our patient and restrict traditional surgery to emergencies and complex defects. Thank you.